Hi, pen fans. This is your personal pen maker, Brian at the Edison Pen Company, edisonpen.com. Hey, I'm very happy to announce that we now have Edison stock steel flex nibs. Uh, we have these in extra fine and fine. We have them in polished or silver tone only. So I'd like to show you all about these nibs. I will show you how they compare to our existing 14K stock flex nibs. So hey, let me show you these nibs. Have a look. Okay, so let me show you. I think in those photos, you can tell that the way that these flex nibs are created is by having this cut out in the, the wing or the curvature of the nib. A, a normal steel nib, of course, well, an, an, a, pretty much any normal nib does not have these cutouts. And what that means is that, you know, the curvature and the shape of the nib gives this a lot more resistance. You know, that's, that's a normal steel nib and I'm not really getting that to move at all, but of course, you don't have an expectation that a normal steel nib should flex. So in this case, removing those cutouts gives the nib the ability to bend and also spring back. As you can kind of see here, and now let me show you some writing samples. All right, so this is a collier with one of the flex nibs mounted. This is an extra fine, um, and let's see what this does. I mean, really, for a steel nib, that's quite respectable flex. That's not bad at all. Let's see how that compares to our stock uh, 14 karat flex nib. Really, there is not a tremendous difference. I'm very impressed with these steel flex nibs. Uh, they really do offer some significant flex. And you know, the, the, the price difference between these two is about $100, the, the, the price difference in just the individual nib. So, and an, another note, when it comes to these nibs, uh, I think that you can see that the line is a touch thicker here on the flex stroke but not that much. Whether or not this is a hundred dollar or so difference for you um, is of course completely up to you. But in the end, I think that these are offering very impressive flex. And I also wanna make a note that what you're seeing here is about the limit that I would push this nib. I wouldn't recommend flexing either one of these, either one of these nibs you know, wider than what you're seeing right here. And let me zoom in a little bit that might give you a Good ideas to see what's going on here. So once again, quite respectable for a steel, relatively inexpensive flex nib. All right, so pricing with these uh, at the beginning, I stated that they're only available in polished steel or, or silver tone, only in fine or extra fine. Um, if you want one of these nibs to be equipped on a signature line pen, the cost will be no different than if you had ordering it with a regular steel nib. So you can choose one or the other if it's equipped. Um, if you wanted to buy one individually, we're going to charge a little bit more than what we would for a normal steel nib. A normal steel nib would be 25. These nibs will be 28. So still, you know, if, if, you're, if you're looking to experience flex uh, with a very respectable nib, if you're looking to experience a little bit more bounce or a little more softness, and maybe you're not into flex at all, but you just wanna have that bounce and that feel, this, this nib definitely fits the bill. So uh, thank you, ever, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you everybody for watching. Please let me know if there's any questions, put them in the comments or send me an email and uh, I'll be happy to help, okay? Thank you.